I want to thank my colleagues for your unanimous support of House Resolution 357, designating June as Alzheimer's Disease and Brain Health Awareness Month here in Pennsylvania. The number of those affected by Alzheimer's disease or other related brain disorders is staggering and increasing with each day. 5.8 million people are currently living with Alzheimer's here in the United States, and 280,000 of those, and probably even more, who are undiagnosed, are living right here in Pennsylvania. Having a loved one with any type of dementia is simply devastating, and I can certainly speak for experience with my own grandmother. They deteriorate, and sometimes they just don't know you. But it's the memories that you have of them that keep you going when their memory is slowly fading away. Caring for a person with Alzheimer's or any other related brain disorder can be exhausting. There are long, grueling days trying your patience. Those days are filled with heartache, but yet filled with love, filled with bright moments and yet dark moments. And that is why the Alzheimer's Association commemorates the longest day of the year, June 21st, to remind all of us how much work, worry, care, and love goes into caring with those who are affected by Alzheimer's disease and related brain disorders. Because caring for someone with dementia simply feels like the longest day every day. It is an emotional roller coaster for the individual living with the disease and for the loved one watching their journey. Informal and family caregivers like me and my family save taxpayers billions of dollars in uncompensated care. Yet we need to do more to support these families who are maintaining such a delicate balance. I would like to take a moment today to thank each and every family caregiver across the state of Pennsylvania. Many of you work full-time job full-time job, sometimes missing work, to care for your family member or even your neighbor. It is stressful, it's exhausting, but you do it for one reason, because of love. So today, we thank those caregivers for the dedication and devotion and sacrifices that they make each and every day. Today, we are joined in the gallery and here on the House floor with advocates and caregivers, and many of you, I'm sure, who have had a chance to meet them here this morning. I would like to introduce Jennifer Holcomb down here with us. Um, Jennifer is the Director of Memory Support at Cross Keys Village in New Oxford. Uh, John Rudy serves as the Chairman of the Board of the Alzheimer's Association of the Greater Pennsylvania Chapter, and Michelle Rudy, who's an advocate. And Bob Marino, who serves as a board member and advocacy chair of the Delaware Valley chapter of the Alzheimer's Association and the many advocates who we have up in the gallery with us today. Here in Pennsylvania, the Alzheimer's Association has two wonderful chapters with wonderful resources to assist those living with Alzheimer's and those who are helping to take care of them. There is help and there is support, and these people are here to offer it. I want to thank each and every one of you for your support today for this resolution and to the many caregivers and advocates who are out there making sure that there is hope. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And at the break, I would like to invite all members who are wearing purple down to take a photo to commemorate today. Thank you.